What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I have another unboxing and initial impressions video. This time it's for the Elgoo Mars Resin 3D Printer. Normally this thing retails for about $360 over on Amazon. However, starting today, July 2nd, this bad boy will be on sale for 250 bones. That's right, that's a pretty impressive price point here for this resin 3D printer. So let's get it unboxed and check out and see what it can do. Oh, and by the way, I'll be doing the same unboxing style video that I did the last time where I'll be giving you guys my initial impressions up front. And then the second half of the video will actually be the unboxing and setup. So I know you guys wanna just get to the goods and see what this thing can actually do. So let's jump right into it. All right, so my first print is still going, but I figured I'd just give you guys my initial impressions on actually getting this set up and up and running and the unboxing and all that good stuff which is basically next to nothing you take the machine out of the box get all the plastic off uh, get the bed plate on there get it level pour some resin in, and basically start printing there's really nothing to it. it was super super simple really straightforward very impressed so far uh, the other thing I want to call it is that just it's a very impressive looking cool looking machine I'm loving the red acrylic top that they have on this it also has a color touchscreen display which is a really really nice addition no buttons on the outside just really tap and touch to control the different options within the printer super simple to use as well also this printer came with a number of different accessories so it came with the resin paint strainers here so these are basically paint filters that you can use when you want to cycle out different resins that you might be working with again just something that's nice for you to save uh, on having to buy and it comes with it looks like maybe about 10 different filters were in mine also has disposable gloves which is great for getting started it also has a plastic spatula here so if you have any print failures it'll help you get those off of the FEP sheet plate uh, also you have your little snipper tool here so when you need to remove supports again all of these things are great for anybody that doesn't already have a resin 3d printer and uh, doesn't want to have to actually pick up or pay some additional monies to get going with this uh, it also came with a random <laughs> 100 milliliter uh, measuring cup. I'm not entirely sure what the heck this is for other than maybe it's gonna be used to help measure out the resin that needs to go in the plate. One of the other really cool things that I like about this so far is that this printer is pre-configured for Chi2Box Slicer. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Chi2Box. Uh, so this printer is already pre-configured. So when you go into the add printer menu, the Elgu Mars is gonna be there. And the print profile, it has a default profile that you can actually work with. So I'm using the Elgu resin and I just went with that default profile for the upcoming print that I'll be printing after this. We'll see how that goes and see what I need to fine tune from there. But uh, so far, so good, I think on how this is all going. So far, the only thing that I really have not liked is that the USB reader is on the back of the machine. It means that I have to reach around every single time to find that little port to then plug in the USB stick when I want to load a file into print. Uh, but loving that this is a color touchscreen display. And while it doesn't have an auto bed leveling system like the MP Mini, it pretty much just has a standardized bed leveling system where you're gonna put it down to the plate, get it as flat as it will go with the automatic process and then tighten up the build plate and it should be level at that point. We'll see how this actually works with some of the prints. Uh, one additional negative I just wanted to call out and make sure you're aware of, it does not come with any resin. There's no small test resin bottle. This is a separate bottle of resin that they sent me. This is the Elgu Gray resin that you can find on Amazon as well. It's super cheap, but it's supposedly really great and easy to work with as well. So I'm gonna be ordering a few more of their different resins and uh, testing those out over the upcoming weeks as well. So I'm gonna let this print finish and we'll circle back and see what the actual results are. That is impressive for just a, under four hours. Looks really clean. This looks really clean. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and we'll check it out. All right, so here are the first prints off the Elgu Mars. I am super impressed with the detail of these test prints. This is a, I mean, just absolutely phenomenal looking. I'm I'm honestly a little blown away at the results that this is printed in. I'm gonna immediately now fire up another print and see if I can replicate the results here. This took about, I think, just under four hours to print. So, uh, yeah. Woo! I am very, very, very happy with this $250 
machine at this point. So let me fire up another print and we'll check that out. All right, my second print is done. Oh my goodness, this looks crazy. All right, and here is the cleaned up print. Uh, this is just absolutely insane. This is the Notre Dame uh, Cathedral here printed at 0 0.05 millimeters and just the stock profile that they have for the El Gumars uh, using the El Goo resin and yeah the, I'm just absolutely blown away by the detail that this has captured uh, I've noticed it's not entirely perfect uh, there are some issues with some of the spirals there at the very top, but that is super minor because it captured some ridiculous amount of detail on the rest of the print here. Uh, I'm going to get this off, attempt to get this off the print bed here, and I'll try to get a little bit better view for you guys as I'm sure this is a little bit blurry. All right, so, so far I am insanely impressed with this printer. For $250, the thing has the same build volume as the Anycubic Photon and a handful of other resin 3D printers and it's producing some just insanely nice print results. I haven't even used or tried any other resins yet or any other profiles. This is just the stock profile that is available over on Chitu Box for this printer. The Rook Torture Test chest pieces turned out insanely smooth in details as a test print. And then the Notre Dame Cathedral is just absolutely stunning how much detail this thing was able to output. This Notre Dame file is available over on my mini factory and is made by Mini World 3D. Again, this just thing just has some ridiculously amazing details that this is producing. Uh, not entirely perfect. I mean, some of the points or spirals at the very top didn't turn out 100% uh, correctly here, or it looks like it might have missed it. But I bet if I reprint this at 0 0.025 millimeters, it'll just pick up all of these little fine details that are available on the print. But overall, I'm just absolutely blown away by what this was able to pick up. Uh, I have had no issues with this leveling whatsoever. I've leveled it the one time and really haven't leveled it since. I've got my third print going right now. And again, the Rook was about four hours and I think the Notre Dame Cathedral was four and a half hour print time. So all in all, not too bad for the level of detail that this thing is able to pick up. Uh, there's no strong fumes from this as well, which is absolutely amazing. And it comes with just a lot of great gear as well in terms of just accessories. And the sale price of $250 is just ridiculously good for a resin 3d printer that's able to output some really high quality things so if you're interested in this printer or considering it there's links down below to where you can check that out and pick it up over on amazon i'm not entirely sure how long the sale is running but i know it's available starting today on july 2nd i just want to say thanks again for watching you guys make sure to stick around to the rest of the video here where you'll be able to see the full unboxing uh, and me assembling this and getting the first print going but i just want to say thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye now all right so let's get this unboxed here and set up first of all this is very nicely packaged up and shipped over here this was sent over by el goo themselves by the way, I've heard nothing but great things about this over on the El Mars Facebook group, which is about 800 people strong. I'll be including links down below to that Facebook group. As you guys might be aware, I'm a huge fan of Facebook groups for 3D printing. Ooh, very nice. All right, looks like it came with a user manual, which is nice. Toolkit. Oh. And then the printer. That's it. My kind of unboxing. I'm really digging this red acrylic top. Very, very nice. They did a great job on the packaging with this. Oh, here we go. Look at this, all metal, all metal, all metal. Build plate looks decent sized as well. Oh, nice. This kind of just slides out like that. Man, this is heavy duty. I mean, comparing this to the uh, the mono price, this is a heavy duty build plate. This is really nice. It's really nice. Okay. 
power cord. Nice long adapter. All right, so inside the container, it looks like we've got a screwdriver of some sort, uh, a plastic spatula. We have some nice clippers here. Uh, looks like we have a measuring cup, which is cool, I guess. Comes with some rubber gloves, also some paint strainers as well, and it also comes with a few of these uh, medical glasses, or, or excuse me, medical uh, masks there. Here's some extra screws it looks like as well, and other tools, and then it comes with a USB drive here that I'm assuming all of the prints are going to be powered off of. Where is... And it looks like this is in the, the back of the machine is where the actual USB drive is located. It's also worth noting that the printer does not come with any resin, so you will need to order some extra resin to even start printing with. Good news is Elgoo uh, has some resin that's pretty affordably priced over on Amazon as well. And here's their gray resin that they sent me to work with as well. So I'm gonna be checking this out with the actual prints. I'm gonna give the manual a quick look through here and get this going. 